Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Lork's Gonna Lork. Joe plays Skyrim. This is episode eight, and I'm hanging out with my old buddy Lork Iron Tusk here in the basement of the Companions Hall. He is uh, a newly recruited companion, thanks to his bravery in episode seven, taking out the leader, the bandit leader of Valheim, in an incredibly difficult encounter, uh, which was nothing of the sort. It was a whole bunch of naked people running around, running from him, basically, and just giving up the fort for nothing. Not sure what happened there. Still trying to figure out if I have a mod glitch. Still working on it. I know there's definitely some sort of mod glitchy glitch going on here because there's a little bit of uh, not being able to see my quest marker on the compass. So there's that. We're populating the room right now. Todd, what is going on? Welcome. Aramil in the house. Good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping in in this unscheduled Lork's Gonna Lork, Joe Play Skyrim. This unscheduled, what else might we call it? Joe time. That's right, guys. I got a last minute change of plans and was able to play a little Skyrim. So I'm excited. What is up, Jay Guys back? Thanks for tuning in. I want to show you where we are here. We're in the basement of the Companions uh, area. This is where the bunks are, where the, uh, the members of the Companions sleep. And I just wanted to bring you in to show you what I just stumbled upon. So after last episode, I did a little bit of not farming per se, but just inventory cleanup off air. Sold some of the stuff that I found, bought a couple little things, and really just tried to clear up my inventory for what I want to do tonight. And in doing so, I uh, told Barry Connick Jr. to stay down here by my bed. I was just like, stay, Barry. Because uh, when you have him running around with you doing all these errands, he grunts and yells and screams a lot and makes a lot of noise. And it isn't pleasing to the ear after a while, especially when you're just doing routine stuff like running errands. So I left him down by my bed. And tonight I was like, all right, I'm going to get everything set pick up Barry and then we're going to start this run and I'll start the twitch and I came down here and look at this this is what I walked down to damn it Barry he got into the potatoes look at him and he's just sleeping come on this is just embarrassing those potatoes belong to the companions I'm sure there's a red steel potato around there somewhere, and Barry stole him. Look at him, knocked over the basket. It's just terrible, terrible behavior. I'm going to have to apologize on Barry's behalf to the rest of the companions, but there's no time for that right now. Right now, it is time for us to continue with the main quest. That's right, Barry. Get fired up. Get fired up. Uh, it is time for us to continue with the main quest which we have not done since we kicked off the old Requiem playthrough. Or actually, at all in the Lord playthrough, we have not done the the main quest. So I believe it's the main quest. 90% sure it's the main quest. I am off tonight to a little place called Bleak Falls Barrow, which those of you familiar with Skyrim will certainly know. I certainly remember... Oh, I took a wrong turn again. I certainly remember the name, but do not, unfortunately, remember exactly what that uh, little side adventure entails. So I'm in. I'm up for some surprises. I'd be dead we shall see. I'm gone. hoping, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I can keep up the uh, the combat level that I was fighting at last time because that that was going really well. Um, so I do want to keep that going, but it is hard to say if I'm going to be able to pull that off because it was just a bunch of people running around without armor on. So that seemed a little too easy. What's going on, Skid? Thanks for jumping on, buddy. Oh, we got Bold and Saucy in the house. We got Little Red. Come on. Unscheduled GCP hang. This is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. Actually, let me see if I can fast travel. Okay, so here, I am uh, in White Run here, right here, and I have to go to here, to Bleak Falls Barrow. Uh, so, I'm just gonna fast travel two feet here to the stables with their insanely overpriced horses. Or I guess maybe you could call them uh, properly priced horses. I guess a vanilla Skyrim probably. Oh, here's a carriage. Hey, buddy. Um, 
Original Skyrim, I guess, makes the horse too cheap too soon. They want to make you work for it a little bit more. Lazarus, thank you for tuning in. All right. Dreadpack is here as well. We got the crew in the house ready for some lorks. Gonna lork. Actually, let me check out my my buff situation because it might be some time for some... Oh, I always forget my Berserker Rage. Can't forget that. All right, let's see. What do we have? My carry weight is still up for eight minutes. For That's from the beefy stew. Ooh, beefy stew is so delicious. But now I'm going to get some bestial stew to get my stamina going. Uh, where is that? I'm going to put a helmet on, too. A hide helmet. A well-made high helmet, I'll have you know. And bestial stew. I have five of them now. I made two off-air. Uh, traded in some ingredients I found, so... Well, we eat that, and let's take a look at what that does, actually. Uh, restore stamina, three points per second for one hour, 59 minutes. Pretty badass. And that's real-time minutes, which is sweet. All right, off we go. Let us save here and find our way to Bleak Falls Barrow. It's somewhere... Uh, oh, that's it up there. You see it? That's it, but I can't just walk to it so easily. There's well, there's a little path right there. Okay, let's try to get to that path and head up to Bleak Falls Barrow. Oh, shoot. I hear shenanigans. What's going on? Wolf? Wolf attack? I gotta use my my archery skill more because I'm never gonna level it up if I don't. Ooh, oh, I hit. Did I hit the deer? Hit the deer too. Get that venison. No! No! Yes. Sorry, guys. I need the meat. I'm a hungry, hungry half orc. Look at that. Venison restores a hundred stamina and magicka outside of combat. If you are a, uh, if you're an orc or a half orc, as I like to call them in this, we got a wolf heart that helps with our bestial stew and raw meat, which also helps for our bestial stew. Well done. Well done, you guys. You're doing well so far. Okay, Cleveland Steve in the house. What is going on? This is so much fun. I don't know about you guys, but I am thoroughly enjoying this surprise Twitch session. Episode 8 of Lork's Gonna Lork. Oh, I hear the music. <gasps> oh, God, where are all these necromancers always coming from? They're practicing the dark arts all over the place. I also have a new axe, if you guys remember, for the last step. The Orcish Battle Axe of Torpor. Bring it. Oh, yes. Yes, Perry. Look at that. You tried to mess with the wrong half orc. Well, you can't really see that battle axe, but it's pretty awesome. It's an Orcish Battle Axe. What do we get here? Black Mage Ribs. Eh, common soul gem. I'll take that. Flawless Emerald. Take that. I will loot the hell out of this body. Ooh, staff of Mage Light. That is valuable and not too heavy to carry. I'll take it. The caster creates a ball of light that lasts 300 seconds and sticks where it strikes. All right. That is an extremely sellable item. Uh, item. Oh, there's a... Is that a wolf? That's a wolf. Let's go into stealth mode. Everybody quiet. Shh. Oh, guys. Shut up. Ooh, I hit him. Oh, and he ran away. Track him down, Barry. I need that wolf heart. I need that wolf heart for my beast, your stew. I'm a bit of a cook. Oh, he's staring me down. Is he le le leading me into a giant trap? How did I miss that? Oh, I missed it again. That was silly. There we go. Got him. Is this giant gonna fight me? Oh dear. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh, I did not save. Oh, Lork's gonna Lork. Barry! Barry, run! Barry, run! Oh, he is onto me too. Oh no, Barry. Oh! My. <laughs> oh no! Did you just see that? What did you do to Barry? <gasps> oh my god. 
I'm sorry, I've never seen that before. That was one of the coolest things I have ever seen. It's Skyrim. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Amazing. I think that's 33. 32, maybe? Somewhere in there. Oh man. That was fun and kind of worth it. But now we know we're going to have to run by those giants. Uh, Todd, you're on my death count. What is this? Is it 32? Did I only die once last episode? I feel like I only died once. I could be wrong, though. I could have died twice. Where was that wolf? Where were you, wolf? I saw you over here last time. Oh, there you are. Tricky. Nice. Oh, how did I miss? Don't run away. Don't run away. Come on, stop running away. Oh, what is happening? Um sorry guys, my Skyrim just crashed. Ugh, this is so annoying. Don't know why this is happening. I'm relaunching it right now. It'll be quick. Hang with me. What the hell was that? That that's never happened before. Uh, it has been like minimizing itself for no good reason lately. And I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's mod related or what, but but uh, it is very annoying, and, and I, have, I do apologize. Guys, I apologize. Oh, that necromancer, I forgot. I dodged that one. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Good arrow hit on there. Later. See ya, sucker. I should have saved after the last time I hit him. But, I mean, even taking that little bit of damage... You can't underestimate that. That's that's really frustrating. It's really like you don't want to take any damage because you have to pay to heal it every single time. You can't just oh I'll wait for an hour. Oh look, it's all better. Here we go. Here we go. Shh, shh, shh. Let's get a kill shot. Nope. That was pretty good. Oh, get him, Barry. Come on. <laughs> I feel like such a shitty hunter. Don't you just stay still? There we go. Stare me down. There we go. Nice shot, Lork. You got to get some, some levels in uh, Marksman there. Somebody last episode uh, suggested that I put a point in Marksman. Uh, a... Uh, I was going to say a prestige point, not a prestige point, a, uh, a perk in Marksman. However, I can't do that because um, because the next point in Marksman requires level 20, and I'm around level 11, so it's going to be a while, but I keep trying it. I keep trying it. All right, here we are. What time is it? 12.50. Just past noon. We got some shenanigans going on up here. Who are these fellas? Are they trustworthy? They're fighting wolves. They don't look like good guys. Are they good guys? Oh, yeah, they're vigilants of Stendhal. Oh, Ice Wolf. He's a little tougher. Oh, I should not. Oh, I dropped my goddamn bow. God damn it. Oh. Dude, for real? For real? Are you kidding me? I'm telling you, I don't... I, I guess I just completely do not understand this. Did my bow roll down the mountain, or did he break my bow? Did anybody see language that said it broke my bow? God! I've got to stop using bows in combat like that, in close quarters combat. Shit! Well, I'm out of a bow until I find another one. It sucks. 
shoot. I'll follow these vigilants of Stenda. May we share the road. I'd much appreciate it. Crimson King, what's up? Thanks for jumping on. Um, um. I'll pop a uh, push here, a healing poultice. I have 22 of them now, because I farmed like a madman. There we go. Actually, I didn't even farm that much, really. It was after last episode. Uh, I had a lot of ingredients for for that, so I was able to I was able to make a bunch of them. It was fun. Again, the healing poultice is the one that I make at the tanning rack that allows me to slowly heal over time. So I have to drink it, but then uh, wait for a while. But then once I wait for a while... Oh, we're getting close, you guys. Uh-oh. Let's see where we're at here. Alright. There's a building over here. Let's see what's going on over here. Man, I really wish I had a bow. Really wish I had a bow. I don't know how likely I am to just find one. Looky here. Looks like we got ourselves here. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Oh. Oh, I just jumped out of my skin. I did not see that guy at all. Okay. 33? I'm going to call it 33. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Where was that dude? He didn't exactly look like the stealthy type. Oh, he was standing right there. <laughs> Do it, Lork. Yes! Charging power attack, as we call that in the Pathfinder biz. Oh, come on! That arrow, are you kidding me? That one arrow? <sighs> well, I do have a well-made longbow, though. Some good arrows, too. All right. But man, was that not worth it. Look at all that damage I took. Shoot. I have to heal that somehow. Maybe there's potions around here. At least there's a coin purse. 70 septums? Yo. That ain't, uh, that ain't nothing to sniff at. Else is up here. Now ain't this a surprise? Oh, I didn't see you. I didn't see you. Where are you? <laughs> Barry, take her out. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, first, let's. Doom. Oh no, not that. Uh, and then I'm gonna equi yeah equip the steel arrows. Okay. Uh, and then equip the longbow. Here we go. Let's go to work. There we go. Good shot, Lord. There we go. Oh, the marksman increased. Yes. All right. That was that was awesome. Well done. Points and marksman. Getting it done. Got my steel arrow. Well, one of my steel arrows back anyway. Okay. I hope there's nobody else up here because... I haven't healed yet. Oh, man. Is this true that I can't... I can truly never open a chest? And I was reading something online that said that I had to spend a perk in in lockpicking. Uh, because it's such a good way to level. Because whenever you pick locks, it's just an easy way to level. And one of the most important things in Requiem is just gaining skill levels. Because it, it is so dependent on how fast you uh, strengthen and advance in the game is like, I know that that sounds silly, but in original Skyrim, it isn't, your level number does not necessarily equate to strength and stuff like that. It is the perks that you pick that equate to your strength and the damage you do. But in Requiem, as you level up, you automatically get bonuses to strength and, uh, and stuff like that. And then the more you put in health, the more you get in strength, it is all uh, related. You've acquired the basics of lock picking and are now able to pick the easiest of locks. If you combine some basic craftsmanship knowledge, you can even smelt steel ingots into lock picks. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. 
Um, I think I'm going to do this. I am going to do this. I'm going to get a, a, a point in lock picking. Uh, we'll make Lork a little bit of a cheat. Oh, don't break lock picks. Uh, I'll tell you, this this mod is so unforgiving. Ooh, what do we get? Garbage, garbage. <laughs> Not really sure what else I expected, but uh, I do think that that was a smart decision in the long run. Uh, I'm gonna do a, a healing poultice here. Where are you, healing poultice? There we go. Get a little rest. Okay. Come, Barry. Let's go deeper into Leakfall's barrow. Did I search this person? Yes, I did. That's where I got my steel arrow back. All right. How much do you need to put into speech before people stop robbing you blind? Ugh, that's another good question. I forgot about that one. Cleveland Steve, where were you 10 seconds ago? I gotta stop making these decisions without talking to my viewers. You guys are way, 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 way smarter than I am. <laughs> All right. Time to head into the barrow. It looks forbidding. But Barry and I fear no bandits. Hopefully they're having another nudist party here and we can just waltz right through. They're all distracted by some sort of pool party. Okay. And I do remember this. Look at this. How gorgeous is this? How Pathfinder is this? Come on. Coming up to this ancient tomb. A wide set of stairs. Failed your stealth check, Lurk. Failed it. Oh, who's coming? Where are they coming from? Gotta get behind the wall. I hear arrows. Oh, there's, there's an archer up there. Oh no! Oh, and now my evasion just got to twenty. I was holding, uh, I was holding on to that perk until my evasion was. Oh, that guy did a number on me with that arrow. I didn't even see that. Oh, vicious, vicious and brutal. Is this guy still over here? No. Where did he go? He's running away. Did Barry hurt him? All right. I don't know what's going on here, but. I'm going to try to run. Run at these guys. Oh, they are naked. Come on. God damn it. Oh, these guys aren't. Oh, is Barry down? All right. Need him to swing. There we go. Come on. Get him, Lord. There we go. If I take one arrow, I'm dead. Oh, I'm going to have to close fast. have to close fast. There we go. Nice. And I broke his bow. Ha ha ha. Alright. Well, taste your own medicine there, buddy. Alright. Taking too many shots here, but... Oh, look at Barry. Oh, Barry is very, very hurt. I'm pretty sure the healing poultice works on Barry as well, so we should be alright there. Salmon steak? Nah. I'm good on the salmon steak. I need raw salmon meat. I'm an orc. I like it raw. Okay, Barry. Let's heal up before we enter the Bleak Falls Barrow. Hey, we made it this far. Already pretty exciting. And we head in at evening. 5 p.m.-ish. Quick save. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see what we find in here. There's some people in the distance. Let's see if we can get some sneak points. Golden Claw. We're overhearing their conversation, but it's not coming up yet on uh, closed captioning, subtitling. Some skeevers, a dead skeever right here. Ugh, gross. 
I want to get off an arrow before they see me. What was that? Oh, that didn't work. Okay, not the stealthiest half orc in town. Over here. Oh, no, it's a mage. Oh, he blocked me. I can't fight him in a mage. Barry, keep that mage busy. Uh, oh, this guy's good. Oh, he gets his block up so fast. Come on, wear him down. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, how did I miss that? That is complete. Scroll of invisibility. That's good. Silver necklace is a little valuable. Wooden staff of ice spikes. Okay. Getting some value here. But man, oh man, am I not going to make it out of this thing alive if I keep taking damage like that. I'm going to have to keep backing up and just saving. Who is this? What, are, what is wrong with these dudes? What were they doing to these guys? It's not cool. All right, Barry. Come over here and let's get healed up. Jeez. Man, I wish I wasn't so terribly bad. But yeah, that was awesome. Barry totally took the attention of the caster there just long enough for me to get through. Pretty awesome. And we got a chest here. All right, let's see what we got. Nope. There we go. Nicely done, Lord. Got my lockpick back. Rakalkum ingot. All right. I'll take it. Pop a quick save. Pop a gentleman's save. I'm also going to have a gentleman's sip of imported beer. That's good. I forgot I had that over there. Cracked a coldie tonight for this one. Get that little longbow. Am I going to go into every single burial, burial urn in this entire place? Am I going to do that? I, I don't think I'm going to do that. That is so tedious. I mean, if none of these are filled with gold, then that is a genius move on the part of the mod because it is so annoying when you feel like you're passing with gold and you feel like you have to open every single one of those things. Okay. I'm a little creeped out, not gonna lie. Not sure where the next enemy is. take hits. I really don't. I'm like Lorcan in uh, GCP combat. I don't want to take a hit. Oh, here we go. How did I miss that? Hodlin the horse head. Did I just miss something? Oh, he tried to open that lever and he died. I remember this now. Oh, look at this. Come on. So cool. Okay, it's a puzzle, my friends. It is a puzzle. Is a puzzlement. What to tell a growing sun? Does anyone get that reference? Is that too obscure? All right, so it looks like a snake. Snake falls off the wall. And Gary the Celestial Doll. All right. Here we go. Snake. Was it Nicodemus? And where's Gary? There he is. Trying to run away from the fever. Yeah, we got it, you guys. Nicely done. 
Thanks for your help, Barry. Couldn't have done it without you. Ooh, soul gem. That's nah, lesser, but... Okay, no septums in there so far, so I'm getting tempted to read Thief. Did I get a lockpick level? Come on. That was lame. That was lame. Is this chest trapped? Perception check. Get my nester on. Doesn't look like it's trapped. Ooh, all right. Nailed it. Ancient Nord battle axe. All right. Pretty cool. Oh, uh, no, not so cool. I'm over encumbered. Oh, that's because I ran out of beefy stew. Let's get back on the beefy. Where you at? Beef stew. Nom, 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 nom. There we go. My carrying capacity goes from 158 to 183. Pretty awesome, isn't it? I never ate food in Skyrim before. I think it is so much fun. It reminds me of War, uh, World of Warcraft when I played that for a little while. Being able to craft your own food and it giving you awesome buffs for like lots of time. It was fun. Can I give Barry items to carry? That is a really good question. And I think that I might be able to. I didn't I didn't try it yet because I was trying to role play a little bit better. But it may become a necessity. Is that you? Spiders, baby. Oh! I didn't kill a spider with that one. Oh, Barry. No. Oh, they're just moving at the last second. These are clever spiders. Get some arguments here. Should have gotten me a marksman level right there. Hells yeah. Yes. That was fun. Um no, no, the frostbite sorry, uh, the frostbite spiders are actually that small, if I'm not mistaken. There are much bigger ones. I think you're about to see it. The large frostbite spider or giant frostbite spider. Uh, <coughs> yep. There's one. Oh, wounded frostbite spider. Oh dear. Uh, uh, Barry, no! Barry, stay! Oh dear. Oh dear, stay buried. Oh, that thing is not. Oh, I'm not doing a lot of damage. Oh no. Oh, Barry's already down. Barry's already down. Barry's unconscious and dying. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh. How long since I saved? Oh, I'm not dead. I'm just paralyzed. Look at that. That is sick. Come on, Lark. Give it away from me. Get it away from me. Get that is so away. creepy. All right, there he goes. Come on, Lark. Come on, buddy. Ah. Ah. Don't know how I'm going to kill this thing. Ah. Kill it. Kill it. This guy's screaming in the background. Get I'm trying. Get it away. Oh, I can't lure him over here. I'm trying to lure him over so I can get a melee get it attack away on. From me. I can try bashing it. Nope, that didn't work. Probably, sh probably should have saved. Little red. I probably should have saved. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Let's take another shot at that. Let's say 34. 34 on the death meter. Oh, yeah, I had saved right here, so I think I'm okay. Oh, am I poisoned? What was that? I mean... It doesn't really matter if I'm sneaking. The 
thing sees me immediately. Let's see if we can get one shot in. Ha! Dodged it, buddy. I should actually tell Barry to stay, but... Come on! I am, uh, I don't know what to say. Is this like one of those spots? No, no, we're not going to start talking about that yet. I have some buffs I could probably apply. Uh, have Barry stay back here, get one shot off first. Barry, get out of the way, for God's sakes. No, Barry. Oh, shit. I think I could do a lot of damage to it if I could just get, get close for a shot. But that was good. Stunned it. That was good. Oh, I took a hit there, though. Oh, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Okay. Alright, uh, I'm gonna pop a health potion here. Let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da. Potion of healing faint. Get out my bow and take a few shots. Good job, Barry. Barry's frozen. It's frozen on Barry. <laughs> oh, I'm doing so little damage. Okay, so... It is totally screwing with my stamina right now. What is it? Exhaustion from running. Physical exertion. Spider spit. Deals zero points of damage to health and stamina per second. Exhaustion from running. Uh, all right, I'm confused, but all right, I'm starting starting to come back. I'm actually going to do a save here because I did make some progress. So let's fight it from here. I want to wait until I get some stamina back, though, because I. Oh, you know what? I have... I, I, wait, I can't... I can only eat that stuff out of time. Don't let it get me! Help! All right, I hear you're bleating. Just relax. Ah, it. It. Oh, that's a good question. I do have a potion of invisibility. Let's give it a shot. Let's see if it can sense me. Potion of invisibility. Ooh, 20 seconds. Let's make it count. Hey, it's looking right at me. Oh, one more. Oh, I was so close. I was so close. April. You were right. That was that was close. Okay. Let me try this again. We're halfway through the fight, so not so bad. Shot off on this. Ah, oh, god damn it! What a pain in the ass. It's uh, when I hold, I can't just hold my bow up because I'm out of stamina. Literally, this is the most accurate spider in the history of spiders. Oh, I missed him. Oh god. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. This spider is having its way with me. <laughs> Fundamentally doomed. What's up? Oh, you're gonna see plenty more. I have a feeling. This thing. The invisibility definitely got me close. Get it away from me! Get it away! So I might try that again, but I just wanna Let's see here. Oh, God, it's reach. It has reach. Oh, are you kidding me? That is a crafty spider. Get it away from me. Get it away. Oh my god! That's incredible how it dodged. That's incredible. This this thing is 
That's amazing. Did you see that? It jumped back exactly five foot step. 38. Just angry, plain angry. Thirty-nine. All right. Um, I just wish that that potion of invisibility was more foolproof. It's just not. It can just see me, and I don't want to keep dying. I'm trying. There's no other, nothing else to do. My ranged attacks I can't do because I have no stamina. It's the most accurate spider of all time. Look at it. As soon as I pull back the bow, it runs away. And look at my stamina drop just from pulling it back. Seriously, this, this spider only has a neon green D20. Oh, that worked. Okay. There was one. But I can't. I gotta get my stamina back, for God's sakes. I don't have any stamina potions. Don't let it get me. Help. <laughs> we should shoot that guy get to get him to stop. He's so annoying. Oh, come on, spider. Kill it. Kill it. I'd never remember. I certainly don't remember this guy being this hard. I'll say that much. Look at him. He's playing don't so smart. I mean, how on earth does it do that? It's like the second I pull back the bow, it knows and runs away. There we go. Okay, couple hits, couple hits. Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. Okay. Oh, I can't hold the bow when it's no stamina. Oh! Don't get greedy. Get oh! Get it Shoot. Keep it away from me. Come on. Advanced spider. Don't oh, I think I missed on that one. Oh, he is so, he is so annoying. Me. I'm about to lay out a line of expletives that is so wildly, wildly oh. inappropriate. Oh, I'm so annoyed. Oh, he almost killed me right there. Oh, okay. Get marksmanship levels here at the very least. That's good. Wasting one million arrows, but... Oh, that was close. Oh, wait, my health is going down. What was that? Health potion to counteract it. Okay. How am I doing on arrows? That's a good question, huh? I'm on my iron arrows. I'm all out of my steel arrows. Okay. We have enough to kill it, though. We do have enough to kill it. Man, this guy's tough. I dodged that, uh, that web shot. Did you see that? That spittle shot. Yes! Hulk. I have defeated you. Oh wait, I'm dying. <laughs> Once again, I'm dying. All right, uh, I'm gonna try to get away with the healing poultice here. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh my God! Oh. Now that is a foe that is profoundly annoying. Was that 39 or 40? You son of a B. You SOB. <sighs> this is. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Lork's Gonna Lork. I had taken a healing potion and it was still outpacing. 
Oh, so close. Just die. Oh, I didn't see that happening. 41. 41. Don't let it get me. Okay. Yes, yes. I see now that my health was dropping. Thank you very much. I see that now. Now I know. Now I realize. Where was it dropping from, though? This thing's poisonous. away every time I pull my bow back. The AI on this thing. Look at this guy. Get over here, you bastard. I'm going to finish him off with my battle axe. Yes. That's right. I say it a second time. I'm the spider killer now. God, that guy is so annoying. And I broke the 30 different arrows that I shot into it, apparently. Ooh, that's some pretty valuable spittle. That's some high-value spit. Oh, dear. Barry? Barry? Oh, dear. Barry! Barry, no! What is going on with Barry? Get me down! Get me down! Get me down! <sighs> what is this spider spit? Get me down! All right, all right, all right. Relax. You, over here. Oh, wait a minute. I want to mess around with this guy. God, this health is killing me. <laughs> Literally. It's coming loose. I can feel it. You fool. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? <sighs> what is happening with Barry? Barry, talk to me. Talk to me. This is so annoying. All right. Man, <laughs> is Barry dead, you guys? <laughs> no, he's not. Yeah, all right. Yeah, Barry, you're a tough guy. All right, let's go find this Arvel bastard and take him out. All right. I am sweating with rage. Where did that scumbag go? That scumbag. It's getting very quiet in here. Very, very quiet. <laughs> Barry has narcolepsy. He just <laughs> goes to sleep as soon as Lu Lork bores him in the least. Oh, I remember where we are now. Oh dear. This calls for a save. Oh dear. Draugr. The undead. My favorite enemy. Ooh. Okay, not doing a ton of damage. Barry not really attacking. Barry, Barry, could you please attack? All right. This is death. Permadeath. A 
thought the Draugr would be a little bit more hurtable. I thought that I could do damage to any Draugr. Beginning Draugr. I really did. I did not think that it would be impossible. But, I mean, if I can't fight these guys, what am I supposed to do? Oh, come on. This guy right here, right? Let's get a jump on him. What was that shit? Where's the damage, bro? There's no damage! Alright, now what the hell's going on here? There's no damage. Oh, there. <laughs> I'm just letting Barry die. I'm dead. I'm dead. This was stupid. This was stupid. Yep. Dead. That was a pretty cool move, Lord. Come on, Barry. Get your ass in the fight. What is happening? What's happening with that bear? He was doing so well earlier. Oh, is that what it is? Do I need bludgeoning? Does that make a difference with these guys? Oh, man. Well, pooper scooper. I don't think I have that option. I didn't pick up any hammers along the way here. No, I just have a battle axe like an idiot. Ancient Nord battle axe. This battle axe. I have a staff of mage light. No? Nobody? Um, can anybody tell me, for example, why bows don't do any damage? Oh, is it because they don't take piercing damage? That would be cool. Yep, they don't take piercing damage. God, this game is so smart. It is so much smarter. All right, let's tunnel them up a little bit better. Got a power attack in. Oh, that did nothing. Look at that shit. All right. Okay. One down. Oh. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on. There we go. Damn it. I lost track. Anybody got it? 42. Lost track. And uh, I'm close to wrapping this up because this is not happening. This is, I spent all that on that spider and I can't do damage with arrows and I'm not prepared with a blunt weapon. Lesson learned yet again, at least 44. Lesson learned yet again, uh, you are completely unable to play Requiem unless you have exactly the right materials to fight the creature you're fighting, which is very cool, but also can just kill a twitch. They can kill it! I don't understand what Barry is doing. I truly don't. I don't know if he's like glitched out or. Look at him. It's like he's a pacifist all of a sudden. Barry, get in the fight! So annoying. I hit you with a battle axe. How can you finish your swing? Okay, two down. Oh my god, I am having zero fun. Ba -ba 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 -boom -boom -boom. This is my zero fun song. I have to say, I'm not pleased with you, young man. You are not pulling your weight. Get it together, bear. Maybe if I grunt, I need you to do something. That's how it feels when someone else orders. Wait there. <laughs> Wait there. Let's see. Grunt. Head on home, Grunt. 
Come on, hold this. Let's see. Yeah, I guess I could get him to hold stuff. That's pretty sweet. Well, I don't know what to do with him. He's all fouled up. I don't know if it's the mod or what. But yeah, he's all fouled up. Okay. I don't know what to do here. This is just nonsensical. I bet you you're right. I bet you you guys are dead on right that if I come back in here with a steel ha war hammer like I had before, I'd be kicking ass. Come on, one more. Come on, how do you block that? the small victories, right? It is the very, very tiny, tiny victory. I guess I should keep keeping bone meal. I don't... I, I want to study alchemy, but... Man, that was hard. Shoot. Didn't think it was going to be like this. But yeah. I wonder if you are correct about the bludgeoning. Well, uh, I think... And Barry's all fucked up. I don't know what's going on with that. So I am going to call it here tonight, guys. Thank you for this impromptu episode. I'm glad you guys were able to uh, show up and check it out. Uh, I'm going to go back and get myself a hammer. And we'll be back next episode in Bleak Falls Barrow with a proper bludgeoning weapon. In the meantime, I'm just going to sit here and look over my defeated foe. The giant spider as Barry creepily slides through the webs towards me. Awesome. Alright guys, thanks again. Have a wonderful evening, and I will see you in episode 9. We're calling it 44 Deaths. See you next time. This has been Joe Time.